Hey, what's up, y'all? Daquan here. I wanted to make a follow-up video to the Nord uh, Grand 2. I got a lot of comments on that, and most people were pointing out, you know, the new action of the new keyboard, things like that. I just want to clear something up. I am Team Nord, okay? <laughs> like, I use the Nord at church. I gig with the Nord, and overall, they have the best sounds other traditional sounds like, you know, the piano, Rhodes, organ, clavs, things like that. The genres that I play use those sounds, right? So it's not a knock on Nord, but because Nord is the hot company right now, of course I had to put the, the name in the uh, title and all that, okay? But it's for Core, Roland, uh, Yamaha, all the other major companies. We have reached a time in technology where everything is so good that the upgrades are marginal. For example, like this is the first thing in front of me. This is not a camera channel, but I have the, the Sony ZV-1, right? This is the Mark 1, right? They recently came out with the Mark 2. It's barely a difference between the Mark 1 and the Mark 2, right? Now, but if I got a camera, a Sony camera from 1999, and then I get the ZV-1 Mark II, it's clearly, clearly an upgrade. Most of y'all have the Nord Grand, for example, and then you think that you need the Nord Grand too, okay? Because it's gonna make you play better. And the real reason why you don't play as good as you think you are is because of technique. Like I said before about, you know, things being marginal upgrades, you have to consider the context in which you're using this gear that we're talking about. You have to think about where do you play, what do you play, and how do you play? Most of the situations in this year, this modern time, at the time of this video is 2024, you are not playing solo piano. Most of you are not, right? And even if you do, you're probably better off using a real piano. I think the genres that will benefit from the realism of uh, the piano sound is classical and jazz. Everything else, you don't really need a super realistic piano in the way that it functions. Like, we don't care about hammer noise. We don't need the resonance, the, the damper noise, uh, you know, what the, the, sound, the sound bed sounds like. You know, we don't care about all that. That's not gonna translate when you're playing with the band. That's why like the motif did so well. Like their pianos were realistic for the time, but they still could have improved a lot, but them things can be heard through a mix. When you get a keyboard, if you spend time with it, you're going to become accustomed or you're gonna adapt to that key bed. And if you have the proper technique, you can adjust your playing to match the keyboard that you're on. I wanna put something in perspective real quick. And I don't want this video to be any longer than it has to be. Most of us are not pianists. We're keyboardists or keyboard players. Most of us are playing piano sounds on a keyboard instrument, right? And no matter how good they make the action, no matter how good they model the piano, you know, they get all of the other elements of the piano like hammer noise, uh, damper pedal, things like that. It still will never be a mechanical instrument. OK, there are certain things that you just can't do with a keyboard versus having a, an acoustic real piano. Right. You still have volume control electronically. You can't do that on a piano. Your hands are the volume, which goes back to technique. And most of us are at a place where we just need better sounds. Right. And so I stand on what I said in the previous video about you don't need the latest and greatest, right? You need to understand the context in which you are. You need this gear and make a conscious decision based on that. Let me know if you agree in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.